Hello. Uh, here goes a um, old lister that uh, my father got, and uh, when he got it, it was seized. It had no cylinder heads on it, and um, he apparently he had all the parts for it. I think it's an HR3 Lister, it's a diesel, and when he got it, it was seized, and he's asked me to get it unseized, which is what I've done, the, um, the pistons were seized in the bores, and so I've got it unseized, and I've got it turning, so, um, and I'm going to look at trying to get it running. It's an air cooled Lister. I haven't found the starter motor for it. But uh, here's some of the parts here. All the covers. So, it's been a bit of a project. But now it spins over. Now, when I was turning the engine over yesterday, the um, barrels were lifting up off their seats lifting up off the block and so that's why I just temporarily fitted the cylinder heads to it just to stop that from happening so but he's um, taken all the uh, covers off and giving it a clean out inside. So I'm going to turn it over. Right. It seems to still be a little bit tight, but. At the moment I'm having to um, spin it over by the crank. It's freeing up a wee bit. So, so what I want to do is give those sort of heads a bit more of a clean up <coughs> and see if we can't uh, do something with them I think number two the cylinder was seized and providing the um, the injector pumps are okay. They, they should be okay. Uh, it's the um, <coughs> yeah. It's now the uh, the actual injectors themselves which need work. So, so you got Lister there. Um, it spins clockwise. You've got a starting handle, a starting mechanism here. So that's meant to start the engine once it turns over. I will. Um, 
see a bit pulling a cylinder off. Uh, cylinder head off. All these spinners here and yeah. I'm going to need new um, head nuts. They're pretty bad. So I'll buy new ones. Spanners. From what I've seen, they make quite good running engines. So, right. Okay. As I said, I'll just temporarily put these on here. So I'll put you down and... There's no good place for you guys. Okay, what I'll do then... Okay, I've got all the rockers, and push rods, and all that stuff on it. So, so you're going to see here, uh, cylinder head. Once I clean those up, but they should be okay. a lot of heat to try to uh, free them up. I'll see if I can turn it over. Seems to be working quite well now. So I'll take all those uh, the cylinder heads back off again and uh, clean them up. Looks like it's been under a hedge or something. It's so. But uh, no, they should be, should clean up okay. It's got a massive flywheel on it. Absolutely massive. <laughs> so yeah, by the looks of it, you can start it with either a... Um, hand crank handle or the starter motor I haven't got the starter motor so I might have to do start it with the 
make up a handle for it, start a handle. Apparently there is one here, but I can't find it. So. Right, we'll get that cylinder and some light. spring compressor so I can't do anything with the valves but I can clean up all the detritus all the rust on here all the stuff and sticks and grasses and all that carry on my biggest worry is uh, trying to find all the bits in here as well and as you can see it's obviously been uh, left under a tree or something so these are the gaskets still on the head gaskets so I see there's two of them there but one of them is, is broken Okay, so I might have to get some of them. Uh, yeah, I'll have to clean these up. Push rods. Uh, got the exhaust manifold. Exhaust manifolds and looks like the air cleaner. Exhaust, is that the exhaust there? Yeah. So there's the covers. Yeah. That'll be the air box there. If anybody can uh, tell me what engine it is, if you can see from there, okay. Uh, he said he just grabbed everything that was uh, that was there, so. Dipstick. Yeah, I'll have to clean a lot of this stuff up. But, uh, I'll have to find all the bits and, and start cleaning stuff up. So, uh, Nuts needed. I think it'll make a good little running engine when it's when it's all done. But my goal at the moment is just to clean it up, clean all the bits up, and to uh, put them back on. Get those injectors cleaned up as much as I can. I may have to put them in some evapo rust. just to clean them up I don't know what the uh, what the pintles will be like
But uh, we'll soon see. Pull on the bits. So this motor coming out of a boat, so I'm told. Okay. Yeah, can we pull this out one handed? No. Here goes the uh there's the gearbox that was in it. Two to one ratio, apparently. And that will fit on the back of there. So, right. Let's have a bit of a look. Here goes the other head. So I don't know what uh, what heads go where. It wasn't even marked. Pull this one off too. Yeah. I don't know how many cc's it is, how many horsepower. I've watched some YouTube videos of people with them, or at least what engine I think it is. So, right, now we'll pull this one off. Okay. Now I won't be able to do that one handed. Okay. He goes the other side of my head. So I'll clean all that off. Yeah, the combustion chamber surfaces seem okay. Very heavy for uh, cylinder heads. All cast iron. So, air cooled, so you don't need to worry about water pumps or coolant or anything. So there you go, that's just a wee project, and uh, yeah, my dad has brought a, um, a sawmill. And we were using it yesterday. It seems to work quite well. Uh, we just set it up yesterday. It still needs some fine tuning. You know, I think he wants to put a put it on a trailer. Uh, we found out yesterday that the rails are quite critical to try to get right. And once the rails are right then it's good 
so that's the amount of sawdust we did that's the boards over there that we cut so certainly a lot easier than a chainsaw mill a lot easier here goes when we split the log in two with the chainsaw <laughs> and there's with the uh, with the bandsaw mill it looks a lot better so but a lot of fun wasn't you playing with that yesterday but back into this all right guys I'll hopefully keep you updated on uh, how this goes I'm hoping to get it cleaned up today uh, I need to find some more nuts for the head bolts clean up the injectors yeah and just try to get it uh, up and running if anybody knows where to get some parts and let me know yeah all right guys thanks for watching all right and i'll see you on the next one